Yeah. Let's walk up and give it a try. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, kind Bargeld. Actually, it's very, very clean, sober. Okay, but let's try it. Uh, there we go, just there. Ne ona canto forfaten. Oh, what is interesting to me is I heard that they have a barbecue chicken pizza, and they do. Aber acht fünfzig. Ooh, eight fifty seems like a lot of money for a test pizza. I want the pepperoni. Salen. Okay, so it's being prepared. Still. Oh, here we go. Now we have a time. Oh, there we go. Here's the pizza. I haven't opened it yet. So let's do that together. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, I mean, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a mess. Oh, that's gonna be a mess. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, um, no offense to the people that, that own this machine, um, yeah, I think this is sort of like Taco Bell, people don't really go here, they wind up here. Let me just try this piece again here. Um. Yeah, the little pepperoncini peppers are delicious. Let me see if I can get a piece with this calabrese or salami, whatever this is. Here's a big chunk with salami on it, so let's try that. Oh. Glad I didn't spend eight and a half dollars, euros, on the barbecue chicken pizza. It's fairly well cooked. And it has good flavor. I think the downfall for this for me is the sauce. I'm trying to give it a fair shot. I don't usually eat the crust. Do you eat the crust? Or the outside edge. I mean the vegetables, those peppers are great. They're like little pepperoncini or pepperoni peppers, they're great. coffee with me. It is cold out here. I used to have a coffee cup that said, uh, if I can't take it with me, I'm not going. <laughs> so before we get on the road today, thanks for coming back, watch another video. I appreciate that. Good to see you here. Oh, that's good coffee. I appreciate you being here. I really do. I, I know I just glossed over that, but I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys watching these videos, and this is sort of a hobby of mine. And it's been all over the road recently, and, and we'll get to a short explanation as to why. But if you're new here, my name is Scott. I was born and raised in the Chicago area, and now I live in Germany, and I love to drive around. Well, not as of late because of this virus, things, booms, things. But um, today. We're going to do that. So I, I like to discover new things about my life in Germany, about my new life in Germany. So um, thanks for being here. Stick around. If you like this, give me a thumbs up down there. You know the deal. So today I'm, I'm sort of excited to talk to you about two things. The first is we're going to go get some pizza. I already filmed this once, and it was good. The pizza was, I mean, the film footage was good, but... I sort of feel like, I remember what my dad told me when I was young. He said, you know, when you try something new, you should always try it twice. 
And I didn't do that with this particular one. I just ate it once and wrote it off. So we're going to go back. We're going to do this again. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was um, the channel and things that have been all over the road lately. There has been some health concerns in my family and um, without going into detail, I'm becoming Germanized now, so I'm not telling you. <laughs> Germans don't really share that information unless we're close. But I have try. I'm going to try and get the channel back on track here again and do what we we were doing or what I wanted to do, I guess, which is, you know, show you some cool things about Germany and eat some really good traditional German foods and some popular foods in Germany. Okay, so we're on the way to the little pizza automaten. Pizza automat, whatever you call it. Why are we going back here? Oh man, these directions better be right. Ah, yes. Here we are. See that back there? That's it. We'll put it in the back window. Right there. Okay. Let's go get a pizza. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. Margarita pizza, calabrese, tuna fish, barbecue chicken. <gasps> I don't know. I gotta tell you. Let's let's try the barbecue chicken. Hot. Yes. Pay for order. Rock and roll. No need to leave so soon. I've been trying all night long just to talk to you. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. To win a free product, try my luck. Oh, cool. Look, it's got like a. Oh, I, got, I don't think I won. In progress. So now it says, in progress, 3 minutes 35 seconds. The countdown continues. Oh, I can really smell it now. I just started to smell it. <laughs> it actually smells pretty good. 15 seconds, uh, 13 seconds. I don't know where it's going to come out. I think it comes out of the bottom. I don't remember. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let me see if I can help. Yeah. Aha! Bingo! Bingo! Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh, that was kind of cool. I don't know if you can see him, the guy in the blue jacket behind me there. I felt... Oh, it's so cold out there. I felt bad for him, but... It turns out that this machine has uh, different languages. So, he just couldn't find... How to do it with the credit card so i just helped him out i guess i did my good deed for the day but okay this thing is steaming i don't know if you can see that ow oh there's a metal plate underneath there can you see that yeah let's see what it looks like holy moly okay oh i didn't bring anything again i did this the last time i didn't bring anything to cut this manchmal bin ich bisschen doof so I probably already showed you the video from the other one. I didn't particularly care for that one at all. I thought it was kind of, yeah, it was not good. Let's try it. Oh, I just, I sort of made a taco pizza out of that. Let's try it. Well, it's good. It's not great. There's a little bit of the flavor of Barbecue sauce. Here, let's try a piece of this chicken. Listen, I don't want to be too critical here, okay? Because this is this is out of a machine, so you can't really expect a whole lot, right? I think I think somebody made a comment though that was that show guy. It was either going to be the best pizza you ever had or the worst pizza you ever had. But it's not the worst pizza I've ever had because. I've been to Florida, and I don't know why, but they don't make good pizzas in Florida. I, I can't figure it out. Hmm. 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 Let's go somewhere a minute. <laughs> that little guy is waving at me. I think he's like a... 
He's an El Cave fire driver. This is not filming very well, but um, I'm on my way to a little park forest area thing that I saw, but I'm not really sure where this thing is going to. my dashboard than it does the road but at least you get to see a little. I think I figured out what the issue is with the pizza. I think it's the crust. Endula Erdbeerland. Okay. I didn't know that was there so I'm discovering Discovering something new. There's a strawberry farm right here. So the place where we're going is a park where there are wood ghosts. So here's the issue, I think. I know that this crust looks like it's cooked pretty well, um, but it's really soft. It's not crispy. Yeah, I think that's the only issue, but honestly... Compared to the last one I had, this thing is, yeah, it's much better. Let's go for a walk. This is what it's called. I don't know if you can see that. Waldgeister Pfad. So let's just go for it. And I think it's kind of cool. I think it's also for children. <laughs> but I don't really care. Oh, there's a Santa Claus. Whoops. Let's see if we can get him to turn around a little bit here. Huh. And the idea is to just go on a little spazier gang and find all the little ghosts and things. But I'm going to try to hold this as still as I can so you guys can see well. But there are a few people just walking around here. Oh, look. See, I think this is kind of funny. It's a minion. That's a minion you can see. Obviously, right? And, oh, people made this. Leah and Laura made that on October. So that must be what it is. Maybe they're just coming out here. People are just coming out here and just making their own little thing. See, this one has nose, teeth. So there's a whole bunch of these things. <laughs> Let's go this path. There are people that went the other way. Oh, there's a squirrel up there. I got you. Oh no. It's the same food. A little blackbird. Um, there's the ever popular wine ghost. I don't know what that is, or why people would do that, but okay. Oh, are these bees? Vorsicht, Bienen. Yeah, but I don't think there's any, any more bees there. But I think this is really not the trail anymore. <laughs> I'm not really sure we finished that conversation, but um, about why things have been so topsy-turvy, and I being Germanized and not telling you what's going on in my life. Um, that's just the way that's going to be. <laughs> so, um, but moving forward, I think for me, what's important is that I have my alone time. And this is the thing that I do. This is my creative outlet that I think people need um, to do this sort of stuff once in a while. I would like to do more things like this. Um, come out to the woods try some food somewhere, go visit something. So, you know, like next time there's actually already another park that I found online that I would like to see. And I would like to make that herring salat that Chogaya uh, sent me the recipe for. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys very, very, very much. And um, yeah, have a great weekend. Bye.